Hi guys, welcome to uh, our weekly edition of Making a Live Bubblegum Monster. Um, we're going to be after asking you some for su some suggestions because we we've, we've had Bigfoot, which is uh, which is great. Um, but it's uh, yeah. What, what what else can uh, you guys come up with? Good to see you. Hiya. <laughs> oh, hope everyone's having a good Friday. Um, let's just check that's all in the right place. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Can't remember what else. Uh, oh, anyway, everyone having a good week. Uh, what have you been up to? I uh, hope you've all had fun. Tell us what you've been doing. Anything exciting happened in your life this week? Um, right, okay, so like I said, we're, we're after some suggestions tonight, aren't we? So, yeah, we can come up with anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> actually, I'll say what. While well, check for sound. Does it all sound no, good? No, I think we have got sounds coming in and. Uh, okay, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you. So last week we didn't actually do one last Friday, but we did do one Saturday for the part did, of our yeah. live monthly vlog, and um, and it, it was a T Rex, which uh, I still haven't finished, but I have sort of done a little bit more. So I thought just while we're seeing what people suggest. Let's go through to ZBrush and show you guys that. So I've just been working on the um, the head, and because someone said before there was no teeth, which was very very astute notice of yeah. the thing. Yes, well done. Um, so I've just been concentrating on the head a little bit, and we'll start to add details on the feet. The hands still look like they're made of plasticine or something, because um, he's not. Yeah, I mean. It's not very fierce there at all. If you just saw that out your bedroom window, you'd be like, <laughs> that silly T-Rex, look at him. He's got no claws or anything. And then you'd see that, and it's actually quite scary. Um, so anyway, I've got to add all the rest of the uh, the details. But I will finish that at some point during this week. It's just been really busy. I've been decorating. That's what I've been doing this week, decorating. And that room for the, uh, for the main vlogs. Because we've always been doing it Either in here or in the in the um, in the other room, but it's always been like really boring grey background, hasn't it? So I thought let's make it all colourful. So it's now a light blue. I would show you now, but the webcams all attached. Um, and we're gonna put a shelf up, and we're gonna put all of these up there. All the uh, make the, the bubblegum monsters that we've made into real three D bubblegum monsters. So there, that's what I've been doing. Um, what have you been doing? Sir? Working. Yeah, <laughs> I, I get up at five thirty every morning, and I go to work, and I'm back about five o'clock every night. That's it. That's as, as exciting as my life that gets. That is your life. That is my life. Um, we actually had someone ask a question um, about the um, about how does he get as good as as good as you? Um, what, have you got any tips and advice, or any books or reference material you would suggest for actual sculpting on ZBrush? Yeah. Actually, I have got one. Have you? Yeah, it's, it wasn't. It's, I don't know about actually learning ZBrush. It wasn't so much for that. It was. I don't know if it's amongst all this stuff down here. Um, yeah, it is. It's more if you want to learn. I mean, it is about ZBrush, and it does teach you how to use ZBrush. Although it's slightly an older version now, but ZBrush hasn't really changed that much over the years. And it's called um, ZBrush Digital Sculpting: The Human Anatomy, which basically goes you step by step through making a uh, superhero so it's gone back there that you can I, i'll tell you what i'll do i'll connect i'll actually put uh, an amazon link on, on on for that so okay. what was it called it's I called it yeah Z and that's really cool it's actually really cool for just learning the anatomy as well of the human body and one thing to um kind of be aware of is bone structure because all of our muscles come from joints and points on the bone so once you know that you can kind of work out where your biceps go and we triceps and everything joins together and animals are pretty much made up the same as what humans are so they all have calf mu muscles they all have triceps and biceps and all of that and they're just sometimes longer or slightly in slightly different places on their legs because of the way their legs are but um that's a really good book and it will teach you a little bit about zebrush as well but in terms of actually 
learning the tools in ZBrush. They're, if you go to the website, the Pixel Logic website, uh, which is the makers of ZBrush, they've got loads of video tutorials on there. Um, people, there's I think there's whole channels people have done. There's a there is a Pixel Logic ZBrush channel as well where they have tips and tricks. So um, so that's worth doing as well. But it's similar to what I say about animation. Um, learn the principles. So learn anatomy. Study just pictures up classic. Uh, sort of Michelangelo art and all of that kind of stuff. That is that's what really counts. Learning tools, you can do that in any bit of software, but it's, it's learning the basics that will get you to where you want to be. So I hope that's of some use. Uh, right, we haven't had much on the suggestion front. So okay. are you just going to go with um, Bigfoot, which was a suggestion? Yeah. I mean, okay. Let me just check because I know you're busy doing the Amazon thing at the moment. So let me just check what everyone's saying. If we've missed anything, open a new window. Uh, okay, uh, do a bubblegum a bubblegum fidget spinner. Yeah, it's not really a monster though, is no, it? Yeah, um, William. But it's a good yeah, it's a good idea. We have got a fidget spinner here, which I'll keep fidgeting with. Um, donate uh, donate in a few minutes. Oh, thanks, thanks, Stampy Longspot. I mean, obviously, if you can, that's great. Um, but we just, I mean, we do just appreciate all you guys turning up, to be honest. Um, but yeah, thank you. That would be brilliant. Um, Pixelogic. It's Pix Pixelogic. Stampy Longspot. P I S uh, P I. Um, I've actually got a link in our description. Oh. There is a link already there, and it will take you straight yeah, to Sculptress, and um, you'll be able to download it. It's free. Um, we also would recommend you using a uh, Wacom, and, right, okay, that's a brand name, a tablet, a graphics tablet, when you're sculpting on Sculptress. There we go, Zebra. William. There's my badge. When you're sculpting on uh, Sculptress or ZBrush, if you use a, a, a Wacom tablet, that's where we use, we recommend Wacom because it's, it's just a brand name, which we, which a trusted brand name which we've used um, but there are others which you can get but we have got links in our description as well you better jump on that and have a look so yes yeah, so don't forget to check out the links don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little alert button isn't it yeah a little bell yeah. there yeah okay I'm just looking so. for you suggestions so donald trump's a good one that's come up a few times i think we're gonna to have to do donald trump at some but point yeah maybe next week because oh actually it might be the winner of the actual month it is got. yeah Back to us on that, but um, I can make a note of it. So we yeah, got it Donald reference. Trump, I will do. But the only reason why I won't do it today is because uh, this is the week that I pick up my son, um, and so I, we kind of have to finish quite abruptly on this on these ones. And I don't want to sort of overrun too much on that. And that one might require a little bit more time to get it get it to look like him. Make a sculpture of Titan. It would be cool. Is that Titan's the what the robot Titan or the god? Because there's a Titan. The robot ones, isn't there? The game, but I don't know if it's that. Um, I like the idea of um, what was it? Someone said, uh, Bendy, Bendy would be a good one. Bendy and the Ink Machine, uh, Donald Duck with great hair. Donald Trump is a monster, <laughs> that, is, that is true. <laughs> um, do a Hillary Clinton one, yeah. I mean, they were maybe have them having a fight or something. Springtrap again. Springtrap would be a cool one, but he's quite a lot of work. Again, I think anything with four limbs and lots of sort of detail is going to take a bit more time. What do you call a goat with great hair? I don't know. Oh, Titan from the uh, oh, anime. anime right, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll put him down. He's down on the list. Okay. Well, we've got we've got several weeks worth of good suggestions she there, so we'd have to say. Let's go. Let's go with Bendy for now. Okay. Because we. we I think a lot of people would disappoint that he didn't get into the um, to be made as a film. So, um, so we'll do that. So I'll just bring him up. He's kind of like Mickey Mouse, right? Sort of. That's kind of what he's based on, the original Mickey Mouse. So Bendy and the Ink Machine. What bit? I'll just Bendy. Here we go. I've got quite a good one of him. Oh, he's animating. So um, we also have got tonight. Uh, we're going to announce our live winner of uh, last week's Bubblegum Monster, which was done on Saturday, as Peter explained, and it's the Tice, uh, Ty... T-Rex. The T-Rex, thank you. I can't say Tice. Ty it's because you're trying to say Trinosaurus. Tri Trinosaurus. And Triceratops, I think. I think so, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the T-Rex from la uh, last week, we're going to announce the winner live on that one. Um and also, I was going to say, should we show the winner, of, which was Pancake Dit of last week? Oh yeah, hang on. Oh, you, I see, I see you're doing that. 
Yeah, no, that's cool. Lots of things. Yeah, so this, this was uh, Pancake Dits uh, one, which and he won the Twin Chef, which we made the week before. From Little Nightmares. From right? Little, that's it, from Little Nightmares. Yeah. So, yeah, um, he has received it and he said thank you and he loves it. So that's great. And it's great to see you join us again today as well. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get on. We'll get on, yeah. With Bendy, because we're already 10 minutes in. I don't know. know. And I will. I'll, I'll Stuart will um, keep an eye on what, what's coming in. Um, thanks again to Rebecca for her. Um, what would you call it? What's uh, moderating? Sort of moderating. Yes, scores, yes. Yeah. Don't upset Rebecca, though. Yeah, you won't like Rebecca when she's angry. Yeah. She <laughs> goes green. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good picture of Bendy. Okay, let's go with this one. It's kind of doing a little dance. I'll see what I can come up with. Right. Uh, where am I? Oh, okay. first of all, I need to change because now we can see the Z brush. There we go. Okay, right, so we're still on uh, the T-Rex. Uh, let me just, ooh, where's it gone? There he is. Let me just get rid of him for now. Um, okay, new. Utilize Zed brush, use. Okay, so we're gonna make a new, new scene, which will just be a ball game, because that's what usually happens with this. Just start with a ball. I can find what I'm doing. If you can hear lots of strange noises downstairs, don't worry about it. It's just there's loads of people here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, so luckily with um, with Bendy, he's quite a sort of rounded character, isn't he? So starting with a sphere is quite quite an easy sort of or good place to start. Oh, Derek's in the room. Nice to see you, Derek. Hey, Thank Derek. you very much for joining us. I didn't watch uh, Derek's out last. He, he had a vote on his um, Twitter, didn't he? Uh, how did that go? Because it was part five, I think. He's uh, been playing that a while now, don't he? It sounds like it's quite a tricky game. Uh, to play, it does look good though. From what I've seen of it, it does look pretty scary. I wouldn't mind playing that. Um, got Stampy Long Spider in the room, fishing Bigfoot. Always great to see you, Fernando Caramoy, a constant regular. Um, we've got some new names here. Uh, Revin Twenty Plays. Oh, right. yeah. Duck Z Quack. Who is Bendy? Is he's asking? Bendy is from a indie game. Who actually Scottish Geek knows the developer. Um, and it's called Bendy and the Ink Machine. It's basically based on the old classic 1930s kind of uh, Disney cartoons. And um, they, they, I think I haven't actually played the game myself, but he turned. It's like I think Bendy's like, is he evil, Derek? I don't, I don't, I don't know if he's evil or not. But he's he's part of the sort of like cartoons that come to life and haunt their um, maker. I think that is where they say. I think yeah, Derek, yeah I think you play the character, don't you? Is one of the I don't know, is it the artist or something? Yeah. And then you're sucked into the world so, yeah. of the illusion. But um, we've also got the legend. If I was a million people, I would describe one million times. <laughs> oh, yeah. thanks. Thank you, the legend. That's, that, well, that's another new name, I think. I, I haven't cool. that, come across that before. Um, I don't know what he looks like from the side, Ben. You only see him from the front. Uh, William McDonald, nice to see you. Uh, Andre the Killer. We yeah, well recognised that one, didn't we? Because <laughs> we said that, yeah. It's terrifying. I have um, nightmares about that now. Uh, the, the, the comments are coming thick and fast. Um, Stamos, Stamos Jeems, or Stamos Jeems. Hello again. Thank you very much for joining us. The place is in the room. Thank you. Um, Illusion Gaming. Yes, he is. He is evil. He is Bendy. Is evil. Oh, he is yes. evil. I thought you were talking about um, the Destroyer guy then. Oh. Yeah, he's got that kind of... Um, well, the thing is, it's a bit like Ronald McDonald, isn't it? Like, I don't know any kids... Growing up, that actually you know thought he was like, a cute character, he's quite terrifying, isn't he? I don't. Yeah, I, I've like, never liked him. But like, what, I like why? His food, did, though. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's weird, isn't it? Like, why did who decided on that as a design? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we want to sort of attract lots of children to our yeah. restaurant because um, you know it's kid friendly, and I know let's just make a really terrifying looking clown. Yeah, 
is actually going to be a bit tricky because I don't know what he looks like at all from um, other angles. I'm going to write that down, uh, our spielder. Um, oh, thank you, Stappy Long Spider. It's very kind of you for your donation. That's absolutely fantastic. Wow, that, yeah. Totally really blown away. Um, but the uh, Oz, uh, our spielder, um, it was FNAF Destination. He said it's right up our street in terms of humour, so we'll have to check it out. Well, is that a channel, or something? Uh, a video. Yeah, so we'll, I, I assume we'll, it's on YouTube. Okay. Um, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, because we are going to start doing some more silly sketches soon, aren't we? Because I, I do miss doing them. Right, let's try and draw his face in a bit. Uh, let's see, so the old... He's um, got kind of... Um, Super chat. Yes, that is really kind of you, Stampy Long Spider. Um, it is always very, very gratefully received. Uh, and it goes a long way to supporting our channel. And in fact, Stampy Long Spider, if you can email us, um, bubblegummonsters at gmail.com, um, we will do, we will do you a thank you for being an official contributor. And we will do a thank you for you. So, uh, Stampy, please email us, bubblegummonsters at gmail.com. I'm sure Rebecca will, will remind you. And um, we will do you a thank you for being an official contributor a screenshot, which we'll send over to you, which features our Bubblegum Monster logo in a, a 3D form. So, thank you very much. Um, other ways you can donate to us, yes, thank you, Rebecca, um, is going through our Patreon page. Uh, there, if you click on the I, I believe there's a card set up for it. Um, so that will give you the link there. What are we doing Monday? Monday is the tips and tricks. Uh, like we've said before, every other Monday is the gallery. Last Monday was the gallery, so this one is the tips and tricks. And I will be going through and explaining how one of the animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's was created from kind of what we're doing here with sculpting to then um, rigging it, which is where you add like joints so it can move, and then texturing it, and then animating it, and then putting it into the um, to the actual movie. Obviously, it'll be condensed down because so, otherwise it would be there for hours. But um, um, it's going to be a very short version of that. But at least it'll give you some kind of insight on how it all works. Okay, so that's that's Monday. Um, there's a link in the cards which will take you see our last oh. tips and trips, which which was on the the corpse on how. Peter put the corpse, which um, falls on me in the closet, um, which was uh, re very well received. Actually, that one that's been very was popular. It? Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's cool. uh, about fourteen thousand views on that, and okay. comments coming thick and fast on that one. So yeah, so check out that. That will be in the cards. As Peter mentioned, we alternate on Mondays between a tips and tricks and a and our bubblegum gallery. Now this. Monday just gone, we had a bubblegum gallery and you'll be able to click on the cards again and that will have uh, Monday's one in. The purpose of me telling you that is if you want to shout out, remember to comment on that video. But more importantly, if you've got something you want us to show, um, email us, bubblegummonsters at gmail.com with gallery, that's the important bit, gallery in the subject line. That's so it will escape the spam filters and end up in the right folders. Uh, and we could feature it on a future bubblegum gallery. Yeah. Also, though, what we do do in the bubblegum gallery is we feature a channel, don't we? We, we pick a channel yep. which gets a chosen slot. So anyone who comments or asks for a shout-out on that video, we will go through and you could luckily feature in our bubblegum gallery as, a, as our chosen channel for the week. Um, why are our sculptures always pink? Because um, they're made of bubblegum. <laughs> That's it. Pink bubblegum, which is the best, right? It's like the classic. But actually, I th one thing we were sort of going to do is for people that um, win the uh, the monthly one, we s we send a high res version of the um, the render, and some people. We've had it before, someone might do in green, I think, so we did it in green for them. But it always appears on the banner in pink because that's kind of like the look of our logo and everything, and it would look weird having just a sudden green coloured one. I was going to say, a lot of our other people in the room are answering that for us. They're, okay. they're really well, well over the top on that one. So obviously, the regulars know more than, than 
Oh, answering some of these uh, usual questions. Um, hi, Stuart. Can I send a regular video for the gallery? Oh, he's in the back of his head. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> that's handy, isn't it? <laughs> you can see you from all directions. Um, yeah, Fernando, you can send us send us what you like. We can't always guarantee it will be featured because we have to conform to various YouTube guidelines. But yeah, just just send it in as long as it's your work and not copied from someone else's. Um, we, we we'll do our best to show it. Um, William McDonald, why is there a dislike? Oh, don't worry about it. We, we not. No. Yeah. You're always gonna you're always gonna get hate somewhere along the line. So it's just better not to worry about it. Um, Stampy Long Spider, you're two hundred. You're you're too young to receive or to have messages. Um, you're gonna have to let us know somehow or we can email this over to you maybe your mum and dad have got an email address if you don't type it into the chat but if you go to our channel and send us a message just type in the email address we can send it to um, or get them to email us which is better get them to email us bubblegummonsters at gmail.com and we will return with this with your thank you um, contributor card it What's going like on? I know it sounds like a zoo down there. Um, okay, right. What's he doing with his eyes? Screw him up. They're kind of like um, long, like I don't know, Pac-Man kind of eyes. Looks like Pac-Man. Do you know what it reminds me? It, like the old, the it literally is the old cartoons where the the blinks just you had that yeah, like reflection type. Thing here, didn't um, do his eyes. I don't like that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Fishing Bigfoot, he's gonna find out who disliked our video. It doesn't matter, <laughs> <laughs> they'd be great. We can uh, all abuse him, <laughs> we can send a load of hate mail. Um, actually, on a serious note, as well, if you guys have got YouTube channels and you get someone who just constantly sends you hate and that, don't worry about it, ignore it, just carry on with what you're doing. We don't get upset when people send us hate comments. Uh, we don't even bother deleting them, do we? Really? No. It's it's kind of amusing. The thing is, if you think about it, sort of psychologically, right? So if I watch a video and I unless it unless I think it's racist or something politically yes. wrong or yeah. or you know just a nasty video, then yeah, I might say something nasty about it. But if it's something that someone's doing in their own time, they're enjoying it as a hobby, or you know, even if you don't think it's very good, I would, I just, I don't, I wouldn't even waste my time making a comment on it because it's like I just think, well, it was rubbish. I'm not going to waste any time. Yeah. So the people that make nasty comments, the reason why they do it, pretty much, I would say, ninety nine percent of the time is there's some sort of either jealousy or something missing in their life that they need to do it. It's, nothing, it's actually nothing to do with your video. No. Um, the legend is having his birthday. Oh, wow. He'll be 11. Um, I remember being 11. When, when are you 11? When, 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 when will your birth, birthday, birthday be? Yeah. Well, let, let us know when your birthday. We'll, get, we'll make sure the room give you a shout out. Oh, no, the, the room already are. <laughs> Illusion Gaming. Uh, well done. Um, Kian is five next Thursday. Rebecca's wow. son. So, uh, Toby's five. five in September, but yeah, it's amazing how quick it goes. <laughs> no, it does Well, my one's taking a GCSEs next year. Oh, and so that's weird. gone like it's really weird because I had a dream last night actually that he like Toby grown up. Like he suddenly he was like ten or something. It was really weird. And I was like, I remember when he was like four, and all of a sudden he's ten. I was like, don't wish it away because it gets hard. No. Um, Alberto has joined us, uh, who's Fernando's brother. So great to see you hey. in the room. Thank you very much, Alberto. He's been here before, isn't he? um, FD plays eighteen. He loves us. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Um, uh, a lot of people wishing um, the the legend a happy birthday. Because he's a legend. Uh, Illusion Gaming's got to go. So thank you for popping in. Hope you check it out on the upload. Now, guys, remember, any comment... Hang on a sec. Oh, Hang on. Um, There's a load of kids coming. Yeah, we're just, we'll have to... Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. Just, I, I think I can do it. Uh, if I just go to here, and if I just go to here... Right, so, yes, we've been interrupted. Um, guys, any comments made on this video, once it's uploaded to YouTube... Remember to make your comments then, and that's where we pick the winner of which will be 
bendy of our model bendy yeah so we're gonna have just uh, uh, sorry about this this is it, it, unfortunately it's just a bit of a madhouse uh, tonight especially because we're starting a bit earlier it's like, um, it's like a um, kindergarten that oh no yeah it's a bit 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 manic um, well let's just switch that back to your Z brush view now Pete sorry I was, uh, oh, okay. just on your Z brush view Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because right, yeah. it was just, yeah, so there we go. Yeah. Right. Um, so, yes, comment oh, on oh, this wait, video once it's uploaded. Did you want a tea? No, thank you. Right, <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> it's been asked that. <laughs> um, and, yep, yeah, we'll, we'll pick out the winner. Oh, all our watches are going. <laughs> um, right. My birthday's in a few months, sorry. Oh, that's right, Legend. Okay, well, when it's your birthday, let us know, and then we'll make sure we'll say happy birthday to you on our, one of our streams. Um, yes, we are making Bendy, Alberto. Um, the Beast, my name's Bra, if, if that's how you pronounce it. Yes, we do remember you, because we were saying, how do you say the Bra bit, wasn't it? The yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, King David's in the room, nice to see you again, King David. Oh, Prabhasan SA, I gave thumbs up before beginning the stream. You are also literally logged in about 24 hours ago and was one of the first people to comment on our stream saying that you're going to wait 24 hours for it. So, congratulations to you, well done. I hope you weren't like camping out. Um, The legend saying goodbye, goodbye, the legend. Karal, hello. Jake Icon, hello. Simon Chu Productions, they're all coming in the room now. Um, and they're stopping. Right, so let, again, I've turned away and you just, just ch- charged on. Well, I've just done the mouth, um, <laughs> which is most of his face, really. Let me just um, put on that. Okay, sorry. So, how, how much easier is using a tablet when you're sculpting? Oh, yeah, a lot easier, I think. Yeah, it's like, so much easier. Oh, because with mouse, you just haven't got the fine control that you get with a um, with a Wacom tablet. You get so much more control. Have you tried other tablets, or has it always been Wacom? Sorry, yeah. Or any other brand. No, no, I'm just yeah. asking as a thing, just um, whether you've had a favourite in the past, or, not, or has it always been... The, the I, 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 to be fair, I've never tried another one. I've only had Wacom. Um, but they're kind of like they're a bit like back in the day with Hoover sort of thing everyone knew had a Hoover kind of thing with um, vacuum cleaners and it was the same with um, yeah with the, wa- the Wacom everyone used a Wacom um, but yeah I'm sure any other brand's just as good but it definitely helps it's definitely better than using a mouse uh, Mystery Man how do you find if a video has been edited and it's fake um that we do with Bill's channel, don't we? Yeah. Um, and he will send us uh, a video clip and then we will analyse it. And normally, the best way to see if it, or us prove whether it's real or fake, is Pete will actually try and fake it himself. So, so look, yeah. this is how they probably have done it. And then, but almost like reverse engineer it from Peter doing the, okay. the fake. Keep doing version of stuff. It. Again, but let me just do that again as well. Uh, the Beast, my name's Bra, he says looking good on the old Bendy. It's getting there, I'm just doing his mouth again because I wasn't pleased. I, I think rather than it sticking out, I think his mouth would go inwards because obviously it's mouth. So I tell you what, I do because it's six o'clock already. Yeah, I will announce the winner of um, or what will be the, tar- the T Rex. Okay. Once it's um, been finished, and this week's winner of the T Rex Bubblegum Monster oh, is Why are you doing that? Sorry, I'll be back. Set. Is Ausbuilder? So Ausbuilder uh, is Clash Royale something, but you know who you are. Please email us, and we will send you a signed, rendered screenshot of the T Rex. And um, thank you very much for playing along. Guys, if you want to be in the bit of a chance to win the Bendy, all you have to do is, once the video has been uploaded, is just to comment. It's as easy as that. It doesn't cost you anything. I know Stampy Long Spider sent us the uh, donation earlier through uh, Super Chat, which is very kind of him. But anyone can enter just by commenting in the video once it's been uploaded. Right, what else have we got here? So... um, 
are they Milne Forbes? It's asking a question. I kind of guess he's probably asking Rebecca why you a helper for Stuart. Um, because we've been chatting and Rebecca wants to get involved and she makes a perfect moderator. Sorry about that. Easy as that. I've got the most important thing <laughs> that I need to function, which is a cup of tea. Yeah, not a lot of sculpting going on today, is there? Really, really bad sorry, sorry. Um, I apologise. Get, I'm getting like this full on. No, I needed that. You see, otherwise my batteries run out. So, um, oh, William McDonald, that would be very kind of you. He's was saying, would you like us to make a video recommending you guys? That would be brilliant. Yeah, that'd be what awesome. would be better though would be if you did a reaction video or got someone to do a reaction video to our Five Nights at Freddy's film because we love the reaction videos. Yeah, they are. Fun. So if you want to do something like that, that would be great. Um, all we ask is if you do use our video, is in the description you put a link to our channel and a link to the original video. That's all we ask. Yeah. Um, right, let me just say this. I'm not under the T Rex. What was your favourite cartoon as a child? Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I think it was one of them. There was yeah. quite a few. I mean, there were some just real classics, but Scooby Doo just jumped out because it had everything I love, like ghosts and monsters, and it was a cartoon. Yeah, but the original Scooby Doo, not when they started. I, I didn't like no, when not... they started playing with Scrappy. And oh no, no, was no yeah. wasn't there an uncle one? I did another one with like the. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, yeah, no, no, or no, a no, cousin no, or no, something. The, like the original. Which yeah, it had I, to be the original Scooby Doo. Yeah. But my daughter's like that when they were growing up. Or certainly Ellie did. She was mad on Scooby yeah. Doo. Um, nice Cats 731. Um, hello and welcome to our stream. Mystery Man, can you guys do Photoshop? If you watch our tips and tricks videos, quite often uh, we'll use Adobe After Effects, but Photoshop does also feature in a lot of our making of stuff. So yeah, just keep an eye on our tips and tricks and see if the um, uh, Photoshop is there. Um, da, 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 da. So I'm just don't mention Scrappy fishing Bigfoot. Don't mention Scrappy. No, yeah, he's. Uh, it was. Uh, they even in the films didn't they sort of um, refer to it like they made him an, an evil sort of character, didn't they? Because there wasn't one person that liked him. I don't think there was anyway. There we go. Right. Um, so I'm just trying to get his body kind of the right shape. He's actually a lot smaller his body, but I'm just getting the kind of round belly effect that he's got. He's got a little sort of bum as well sticking in. Yeah, guys, if you're sending us email now, I will get to read it a bit later. Um, I've got so much going on, even just as it stands here, so I can't really sort of flip between the. Uh, to the email but don't worry if you sent it we'll try and read it as long as you've used the subject line properly the subject line in your email that's the bit which, before you start the message is really important because our spam filters pull out uh, emails and they end up in our spam box if you put gallery if you was trying to send us some artwork our filters will catch that and put it in the right folder for us I know Pancake Dit, you did send us a, um, a, a photo of holding um, of you holding the, the Bonnie character, um, which will potentially could end up being featured in our Bubblegum Gallery. Oh yeah, I saw that, that was cool. Um, Tony57, um, he was the winner of the Willow one. I, you should have received that by now, Tony. I emailed that over to you. Um, right, let's try something with. Um, there's a little toy where you can extrude like cylinders and things. It's quite cool. If I can find it, go on, carry on talking. No, no, I'm just. Uh, see, this is really different to sculptures because you don't get all these choices of brushes and things. Right. So this is where it differs in a bit in a big way. Is it that one? Um. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is. Back in the day with um, cartoons, like when I say back in the day, I'm talking about like the 1930s. They used to, um, they used to literally had these sort of arms and legs. They were just like they were like rope. That would like if you see the old Mickey Mouse, he just had rope arms and legs. Like oh, the original one sort of thing. Yeah. Because wasn't it? Um, 
the, the boat one, wasn't it? I've forgotten the name of it Steam now. Steamboat Willie yeah. or something. Was yeah. it Steamboat Willie? Yeah. Yeah. That was the first one. Yeah. Um. Mr. Rand, are you guys from the UK? Yes, we are. Uh, but what we have done in any links in our description, we have also put them for the American audience as well. So just check mm. the link that is either marked UK or USA. Um, if you want to check out any of the books which Peter would recommend um, yeah because you, you'll be able to get them in the US as well just on I think they're all off Amazon yeah well, that's where we get most of our stuff from yeah. isn't it Amazon that's why it's always the best to just go there um, we will try and check it out um, William um, your video after the stream obviously um why did you start this channel and when did you start this channel years ago do you know what? i think there's people growing up now the same when, when did we say it? it was like 2011, 2011. Mm. but we didn't do we would when we started it off we, we initially just started it because we wanted to sort of see if we could just do some effects videos and um actually i think it was 2010 was it no. i think it might no it was 2011 it was definitely 2011 was yeah um, I have to check. And so we just did the first one we did was a, was a robot one, and um, just this sort of giant robot walking down the street. Um, it was good fun, but the thing is, it took ages to do. It took about I think even that video took about three weeks, four weeks to do. So we weren't planning on doing loads of videos. So we just did one or two every every sort of month or so, every two months, and. Um, and then we sort of stopped for a bit, for six months or a year, and then nothing would happen. It was um, we, yeah, we had about two thousand eleven. I think over about three years, we gained about five hundred subscribers or so. Yeah, well, was never we wasn't really active on it, no. and uh, I mean, it was really just a platform for us to be able to because we've always been making like, little videos and sketches and things anyway we, since we was at school since we were about fourteen years old. Uh, it just YouTube became a platform where we go, do you know what, we don't have to just show them to our parents or our friends, we can actually upload them to the world. And yeah. we was, I mean, I remember how excited we got when we see like 300 people just seeing our video. I don't think it was even that, I think it was 100. I remember going, if we could get 100 views. Yeah, that's true, video, yeah, well, initially. And but we did after about... Two days, I think. Was it that short? Yeah, well, because oh, okay. by the Friday, after we uploaded, we had 300 and we had the email from YouTube, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, but I do. I think the thing with I was thinking about this today. The thing with YouTube is it's so easy to get disheartened when you start a YouTube channel, and you you upload a video and you get like five view, views, ten views. I mean, some of the older vi films we did where we literally would spend months on them, and you'd upload it and you'd get like I don't know, like if you're lucky, three hundred views, and, be, and it would actually be like wow, <laughs> three hundred <Yeah>. views. <laughs> Um, and yet you would see stuff out there that didn't require that much effort sometimes not even that entertaining and you'd, and it would have millions of views and you'd be like I just don't understand it I don't understand it and it really a lot of it does come down to literally YouTube's algorithm that's all uh, it, it really does I mean I think if you want to have a channel that people come back to then you've got to produce content that they like but there are there are the, the the algorithm on YouTube does literally just like content being fed to it all the time from your channel. So if you're going to start a YouTube channel, make sure you do upload regularly. But that doesn't say upload rubbish because eventually it you know it won't get viewed. But if you want it to get seen and you want to sort of like um, get your stuff out there and seen by a lot of people, you've got to. I think it comes down to it. You've got to work at it. You've got to keep doing. It. Don't get disheartened because. Your first few videos, unless you're extremely lucky, will get probably no more than like 30 or 40 views. And it's just the way it is, just the way YouTube works, because it's, it's a new channel. They don't really care about you at all. They're just like, well... Well, I th no, it's not so much that. It's also, it's you, you have to appreciate that millions of hours is being uploaded daily yeah. to YouTube. So you've got, you've got to appreciate, you, you, you're just, you're 15, 20, 30 seconds, one minute, whatever, however long it is, it's just a drop in the yeah. ocean when you think of the millions of hours that are being uploaded every single day. 
And so when I say yeah, they don't care about you, I don't mean as in there's someone there going, oh, there's a new uh, YouTube, I don't care about him. I mean like the algorithm, because it really likes ones that it can base off of how successful they've been before. So if it's got a, video, a, a channel that's releasing stuff that they know has been releasing successful stuff, it'll go, oh, this, this, this channel does release stuff that people take notice of and it will promote it more. Whereas if you're on a new channel, it will just, you just kind of, you've got to just try and survive basically because you're going to be swimming with a mass of other people but with then, no help from YouTube at all. Yeah, but the other argument is, is, you know, like you've got friends at school um, and if you've done something, at least you could upload it to YouTube and ask them to check it out. So at least they can get to see your videos. I mean, in, in the past, like I said, we'd have to invite someone around, going, oh, have you seen a video? Or in the old days, yeah. lend them the VHS tape. But yeah. upload it to YouTube, and then, you know, just say, oh, guys, I've done that, this on YouTube, can you check it out? And your mates at school will. Yeah, and I think that's the way to just view... Do it for you yourself. Know, Not... what, how do we start this conversation? What's even about this? No, it's it? asking um, uh, when we started and... and oh, that's right, yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah, and the but that's the thing. Just start it because you want to do, you want to do videos that you can show people. Don't don't start it because you want to become a millionaire or super successful on YouTube. Because then you'll get really disheartened really quickly. Yeah, um, Fernando's asking, did you get the time the Five Nights at Freddy's timeline email he sent you a few days ago? Yeah, I did. Yeah, really no, I useful. To, yeah, no, that is really useful. Um, I'm still, I'm still not sure about that timeline though in terms not your t- it, your timeline was great it was um, it's more that on the wiki it the five nights I still don't I'm still not 100% sold that five nights at Freddy's 2 is a prequel to five nights at Freddy's because from what I unless, and correct me if I'm wrong because I don't, there may be more evidence out there but for the evidence I've read about five nights at Freddy's 2 it says that the reason why they think it's a prequel because I don't think it's actually been confirmed by Scott at all it's just this is what people think was because the phone guy is still about and in the third or fourth phone call that you get on the first game he sounds like he's going to get killed kind of thing um, and they're like well how's he, how he back again but I th- think well we don't actually know who the phone guy is it could just be all a big trick anyway he could be just been playing around with it. you don't even know who he is so that I don't think is an evidence enough in itself and the other evidence they suggest is because um, he's in the phone guy also says about the animatronics even are allowed to walk around during the day whereas in the first game they're not because they cause trouble but then I th- I read that as they made them better because they are like new and shiny ones so they're more sophisticated than the originals so I I still I'm still not sure I'm not completely sold that it is a prequel and unless it's been said by Scott which I don't think it has I think this is all fan rumours I actually think it's more a sequel than a prequel, but that's not saying you know, that that's right either. I don't know. Rebecca is asking, where's Jim? I don't know, where's Jim? Jim has gone on a camping trip. I love why you looked at me as if I'd know. Oh, I don't know if he, 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 he emailed you or texted no. you or so. So yes, he's on a, he, he went on a camping trip. He did actually notify us this morning um, that he wouldn't be able to make the stream tonight. So right. that's where Jim is, Rebecca. Um, we've also had... Um, oh, there was a good one here and I have forgotten there you go uh, probation SA Pro- probation SA uh, do we give away these bubblegum figures no we don't sadly um, they are for us and our shelves and also for our Patreon contributors so when you become uh, I think it, the, the level starts at bronze you could become a bronze Patreon contributor after the 12 months of being a bronze contributor, we will send you a model of your choice in uh, the bubblegum pink. Silver is a bubblegum monster of your choice in silver. Um, and gold is a bubblegum monster of your own design. So like Rebecca did a uh, wanted willow. And we're still trying to successfully do a 3D print of Willow. It's getting very, very frustrating. I've used up nearly 330 meters of filament mm-hmm. trying to get Willow right. So there you go. So that is a, a, a fact worth knowing that Willow is going to end up 330 meters <laughs> long. Um, but yes, yeah, so they are for. They, there is there has been talk about buying the figurines 
on Facebook and it's something we're still looking at. Um, if you want to check out our other social links, check the description below. That's got our Twitter, Instagram Woo! and Facebook address. So, and as well as the Patreon. Okay, I think that's something that's gone a bit weird with ZBrush. It's not letting me go to my move tool for some reason. Out of all the tools, it's, that's the only one that's not working. So I might have to just shut down and open it again because it's not... Let me just try it through here. Warrior X269 has asked, did you get the, the uh, video yeah, that he emailed you? If it, as long as you marked it with gallery in the subject line, then the likelihood is we have received it. Because this is not I'll our day job, down. you'll have to... Switch uh, back to main view, sorry. Yeah, because this is not our day job, you'll have to appreciate that sometimes... we On Tuesday nights now, we, we have made a, the decision that we will have a production meeting and that is where quite often we go through things like the emails and all that because all the other nights we're together we're busy doing something bye illusion gaming i just saw <laughs> I just loading up zbrush going i just saw bye um so yes yeah, so we will be looking at them uh, uh tuesday um did, uh, did you oh ever my. consider making a bubblegum monster stop motion with clay no, but that would be really cool. That would be cool. <laughs> that I would like to say. You've got to have the patience of a saint in stop motion. Rebecca, you owe us nothing for the filament because it's a learning curve for us as well. So with Peter and the object files he sends, sends me um, is uh, a learning curve for Peter. And then the learning curve for me is actually how to... It's, it's called slicing. So I had to do the slicing method of actually taking the information from the object file and giving it to the 3D printer to print. Um, and so you owe us absolutely nothing. This is a very much a learning curve for us. And you are our gold, official gold contributor. And that's it. There you go. You will, will get a golden willer. Um, great tip, Peter. Both eyes should face the same direction and the arms need to be a tad shorter. Other than that, looking good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, it's, I've just kind of made the arms roughly the the right sort of um, shape. Um, but actually, the the, cat, the the reference I'm looking at, he's posed as well. So I'll probably go in. Might not have time tonight, but I will pose him up as well. So he's kind of doing a little. Looks like he's doing a little dance in this particular picture. Um, Stamos jeans donate via PayPal. Well, that's how Rebecca um, did it because with Patreon. Um, you can. It's a sort of a monthly subscription, and Rebecca did it via our PayPal. E anyway, each contribution will add up. So if if you if you donate two dollars or two pounds or whatever it is, the conversion with the thing this week, and then in six weeks' time donate ten, you would actually have a essentially what the twelve pound reward, not not you know a two pound reward, and it's it's works like that so we do let it run as an accumulator so don't feel you have to donate everything at once nope. um, so yes so thank you very much for your question Stamos Jeems um, what country does Stuart and Peter live in that's from Harvey Milne Forbes we live in the oh you want me to ask yeah. uh, the UK in UK, England in, yeah. yeah where there's castles and we drink tea <laughs> yeah you've got a cup yeah um I, 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 I don't know if Aus Builder does, does he know that he's the winner or did he go? I don't know. Rebecca, did did Aus Builder know that he's the winner or has he shut off? Well, I have to email him because I I, I have had emails from Aus Builder in the past, so we do have his email address. Um, this is his feet, by the way, just in case you're wondering what I'm doing. The Patreon page doesn't exist. That's interesting. We click the card if that that Patreon page doesn't exist. Um, it should do on the on the on the card. Um, Rebecca, are the cards active? Yes, they are. Let's have a look. Um, let's click on that. And let's see. Yeah, it does. the 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 link the link works. The link works. If you click on the card above. That would take you to our Patreon page. Um, yes, we do like tea. Uh, tea, in a, tea in a coffee mug. Unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, no, we have mugs of tea. We don't have tea cups. 
We drink too much tea to have a tea cup. But it wouldn't last very long. Yeah. Would it? Although it does make you laugh. If you go to, there's a, a sports shop in the UK called Sports Direct. Oh, I've got one. Have you got one? Yeah. Right? Everyone's a got everyone's massive got one. Mug. They're like that. That sort of big. And I'm like, doesn't he? No, but I've never seen anyone drink tea out of it. They always have it for like their pens or some sort of storage. Um, why have we got? Why are we back on the on the, not the Z brush? Oh, sorry, I'm I'm chatting away. Yeah, and uh, well, no one said me. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. I've, I've just been making his shoes. Sorry. Um, congratulations, Warrior X Two Six Nine, the Redstoner, and his channels hit. Um, Here's the shoes. Twenty twenty uh, subscribers. Nice one. I think that's another thing. Subscribers um, takes a long time. It does take a long time to get anywhere with subscribers. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, I'm going to add his shoes anyway. Fernando Caramo is going to send a link which explains the FNF timelines as well. So email us the link, that'd be perfect. Okay, that'd yeah, be brilliant. Cool. Um, his shoes in his head at the moment, sorry. Let's move it down. Amsai Amzia Abuamin. Mm. Um, excuse my pronunciation. I don't think you pronounce yeah, that. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit off in my pronunciation on that one. Um, I ride a motorbike. I've got a um, a twelve fifty Bandit, and um, in fact, it needs to go down to the shop because uh, the uh, mechanics because I've got the the chain. I've got uh, slack in my chain, and I uh, needs needs a new chain really. But I love it. Absolutely love motorcycles. Um, can you do an FNF fan video? Harif T-R-M-Y-T. If you haven't seen our Five Nights at Freddy's fan video, check it out after this uh, stream. Please, because you'll love it. We have done a Five Nights at Freddy's fan-made movie. It's um, it's quite popular at the moment. Yeah, his arms are really long. Right? Um, let me send you an email regarding the Patreon problem. Um... Uh, okay, uh, Prebazin, that'd be brilliant. Thank you very much, and we'll have a look at it tonight. Um, what is your YouTube channel? I, I don't think that's to us. I think they're um, talking amongst themselves. Um, Turf's in the room. Hi, Turf. Hey, Turf. Great to see you um, from uh, South Africa as well. Um, I don't know what the time zone is. I don't think there's a lot between us, South Africa. No, I think, I I think it's one or two hours, yeah. if not... We're, we're, we're back. So if I'm his arms um, by doing this, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. But. Industrial Angel does a fantastic job um, at moderating for Scottish geeks, and uh, it's very nice to see the ad popped in. Mm. Okay, I've got um, a See if I can shorten them. She says, "I just I looked up quick and I quick." And I thought I saw ovaries. No, it's just a close up of the hands and feet. Who said that? <laughs> That's um, Industrial Angel, who has quite a wicked sense of humour. Uh, we like um, Industrial Angel. Guys, if you haven't. Um, Derek, are you streaming tonight at 7 pm? Because if you are, guys, once you've finished our, our, um, our, our uh, stream and you've checked out our Chica interview, part two, which comes oh, yeah, out yeah, tonight, yeah. also at 7 o'clock. Jump on onto uh, Derek Street, uh, Scottish Geeks. I'm sure um, Rebecca would do a quick link to Scottish Geeks' channel for us. Um, what did they? What did the sea say to the mermaid? <laughs> Is this? From, I, I do like these jokes. Is it from the same same person that usually doesn't does them? Um, I, 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 William McDonald's did this one, um, mm. but I think I, nice I think the answer see you. is. No. no, nothing. She just waved. Oh, is it? I yeah, think I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah. the answer is yet. We'll have to find out. Um, Stuart, do you want to chat now on Instagram? No, no. I'm doing this at the moment. This is a bit tricky to do two or three things at once. So I'm trying to control the, the um, comments and do the links, and there's all sorts of going on. But thank you for the offer, Turf. But no, we can't. Um, Leo Smith is back. Hi, Leo. Thank you very much for popping in. Make his body a little bit um, he, Yes, he is. He's possibly outlast two. There is going to be blood. That's from Scottish Geeks. He is streaming tonight. So that's good to know. When I first saw one of your vids, I was chewing bubble gum from the Diamond Sheep. Well, then, yeah, there that, you that go. it's fate. It's fate, yeah. It's destiny. Um, uh, da, 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 da. 
See you later. Bye bye, William. Thank you very much. Did you give us the answer for the oh, what did the sea say to the mermaid? Yeah, you can't leave us alone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never know. Oh, Scottish Geeks and Industrial Angel are going to a YouTube Creator Day tomorrow. So I hope you have a good time. We enjoy those, don't we? We've been yeah. on several yeah, now. Yeah, 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 quite cool. Is that in Scotland? Oh, I would have thought it would be. Yeah, do, do they not? Is there not one in Glasgow? Don't they host one in Glasgow? Uh, yeah, probably Edinburgh, Edinburgh, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I know they they have one up, up that sort of way. Uh, Lego Luke, thank you very much for joining us That's and good popping name. in. We like Lego Luke. Um, okay, I'm going to make a bow tie now because he has got a bow tie. I'm working this weekend actually, uh, turf. Um, but I will always try and answer answer you when I can. Um, when I sit down at tea, I quite often answer a lot of the comments, the Facebook comments, and um, uh, the Instagram. So just just so you could just chat, and I, like when I can reply, I will, I will always drop you a line. Um, oh, well done, Rebecca. I'm hoping that that's the link to Scottish Geeks' channel. Um, Yes, it's Edinburgh. It is Edinburgh. The right. YouTube Creators Day. Yes. I've never been to Edinburgh, but I've heard it's really nice. I, I've been to Edinburgh several times. Have you? Yeah, um, but they call it the Royal Mile. Is that is that right, Derek? The Royal Mile in, in, in Edinburgh, the Royal Circle or something. But it, it's a lovely, lovely town. Yeah, I'd love to go there. Um, or city, I should say. Lovely city. Been to uh, Glasgow. Yes, um, never, to. never Edinburgh. I've been to, to, to Glasgow and then I, I, I drove on Stirling, it was somewhere else I worked. And then from there, I went from Stirling, I think, to Stranraer to get a uh, ferry out to Belfast where I was working in the morning. Um, Fishing Bigfoot has watched Skull Island and he thinks it was great. There's a lot of people saying that and I still haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. It's really annoying. I don't get the time. I'm just too busy with my YouTube channel. The. Um, the diamond sheep has sent us a little dip. Did you call it a ditty or a poem? Roses are red, violets are blue, bubblegum monsters are popular too. <laughs> like, actually, that's really good. I don't know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Royal Mile. So I, I, I was paying attention when I was up there. Uh, though, to be fair, I, was, I spent a, a lot of it in various drinking establishments <laughs> after a day's hard day's work. Um, but it's great, great nightlife as well, Edinburgh. Um, Leo Smith is watching Goosebumps. Is that the oh, one the with movie, Jack Black? Because yeah. I love that. It's really I, good. I love the original series. Um, I say that because I never used to watch it when I was young, but I've been I've been showing Toby it, and um, yeah, I really really enjoy it. So I, the movie would be quite cool. But I think it, he's a bit young for that. Still, so he's only four, so he's probably a bit young. Yeah, it is a bit. But then some of the some of the actual um, TV series ones were quite. There's one with a ventriloquist dummy thing. Yeah, he's the one who's really scary in the film as well. Oh, oh you've seen it? Have you? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He, he's yeah. That, yeah that's it's what really I mean. scary. And I don't actually like um, ventriloquist dummies. I've always found them creepy. Well, that's probably why you found it scary. Then, yeah, so probably. Yeah, so. I really like them. I don't think anyone does. It's a bit like the, we were saying, like the clowns and Ronald McDonald. Uh, Venendo, you're starting a job tomorrow. Um, oh, best yeah. of luck. Good luck for your your new job. Yeah. Yes, you have to get a good night's sleep because obviously in your time it will it's be like two in the morning. Yeah, we'll be about two, two in the morning. Yeah, so don't don't um, stay up for that for us to, and then being too tired tomorrow for your job, especially for something dangerous. I thought you just made Mickey Mouse, and I think now you got the wrong character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting fact about Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter from what angle you see him. Yeah. You always see two ears. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his ears, are, yeah, exactly the same shape. They never change. Oh, oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Scallion down is doing it the wrong. See that? Hang on. Oh, I know one. Shit, now. There okay. you go. About that size. Yeah, puppets are scary. Yes, it is. Um, what do you call a sleeping police? Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, yeah. I suppose a sleeping. Yeah, what do you call a sleeping policeman? Uh, the answer is undercover. Um, <laughs> that was received quite well in the chat room as well. Uh, 
Right, just just so I can keep you in line, what time are we looking to finish this? Well, I think we're we we we'll call it a day soon because he's kind of done. I just need to pose him up. Probably the, um, that bit down. The... Do you know what? I don't know. But I don't think it's actually. Oh no, it's just, just like a graphic glitch thing. thing. Yeah. Um, and then what would what I'd do over the week is I'll just put him into a pose. But he's kind of. I'm just going to add some teeth to his um, mouth. Stuart, because of you, I got addicted to bloody spinners. Um, I assume you mean fidget spinners, Derek, and not bloody spinners. Uh, yeah, where's your one gone, Pete? Because it's actually Peter. My daughter's got one, but it's actually Peter. They are they are really addictive because there's something about getting a good spin on it. If you get good spin, so that was a rubbish spin. By the end, you get a good spin. Ah, can't do it, man. Um, and then uh, yeah, and then you can start sort of getting. Well, I was trying to pass it across to my other hand the other day, and that, you can do it sometimes. I did manage to ah, so nearly. Um, but yeah, it is like it's. A, I think the classic example of something similar is the ballpoint pen with a click and you just click in and I'm always doing it on the phone especially when I'm talking to someone really boring um, I, I, tend, I tend to use this um, when I'm talking to Stuart I mean someone boring I must admit I was playing with my daughter's one and um, it was uh, yes quite addictive as you say you sort of start playing with it and then you try and do things with it um, yes it is half past six uh, in the evening in the UK um, turf um, have you thought about making your own with the printer oh, that would be interesting um, around what uh, 3D spinner I guess oh yeah yes that would that would be uh, interesting but in all honesty I'm having enough trouble keeping on top of the bubblegum monsters at the moment yeah. I'm so desperately looking forward to making something new and I think we're going to have Withered Freddy in the Dropbox this weekend, or the, oh, yeah. um, the chef, or the chef. I'm looking forward to the chef as well, actually. But it'd be nice to have a couple of new ones to, to yeah. practice with. Um, I hate it when people say that's not my cup of tea. It means I poisoned the wrong person. Oh, is that is that is that true? Is that where that come from? Um, I like those sort of things, those sort of facts of where, like, um, bless you. Because I was watching this um, other YouTuber, I've forgotten her name now. She is quite funny. Uh, Lizzie, Lizza, Liz, Lisa, 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 I think it's Lisa, Kobe or something, something like that. And she was, um, she had like the top five things she hates about things that don't make sense. And one of them was, why do people when you sneeze say bless you? I went, yeah, I know that one. Yeah. That goes back to the small pox as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh no! Is it the plague? Is the plague. The yeah. ring a ring of roses was the smallpox. Yeah. Um, right, uh, Stamos James. I've donated. Uh, no, I can I donate Visa. I, I believe you can if you're using the PayPal method. I believe you can. Um, Rebecca Pearson. Finally, I can eat. I'll oh, bless you. You've been hanging on while we've been going on. So um, that's great to uh, have you here, though. Um, South Africa is 9.33, so yes, so you're, you're an hour ahead uh, of us. 9.33, um, it's not an hour ahead. Uh, sorry, 19.33. Oh, okay. 19.33. Uh, Prabazan SA, I didn't know you were from India. I thought you might have been from South Africa with the SA in, the, um, in your handle. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to know how we go down in India. Do people get our sense of humour? Um, do they enjoy our sort of stuff? But thank you very much for being here, and um, it's good to see you. And it's 11 o'clock in India. Okay. Mm. Ted Bear, there's your shout out. You did have one on one of our galleries. Um, you want to check one? Of, it wasn't the gallery we did this Monday, it was the gallery we did two weeks ago. So go and check it out. You'll be pleased to see that we gave you a shout out in that. Um, uh, what do you call a person with five arms, four legs, and three eyes? I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to think. I'm trying to think of something clever, but I can't think of anything. I think the answer is ugly. <laughs> is it? I, th I think that's that's what the beast. My name's Bra has just said. Um, <laughs> yes, it is. There is the comments just come through again. So it's ugly. I'm playing with my fidget spinner and watching you. Best day ever. Oh, thank you very much, Simon. <laughs> Productions. Um, 
to, uh, Rebecca's one was to answer to that question what do you call five arms four legs and three eyes she said weird I would have thought that might be closer to um, Ted Bear loves our Five Nights at Freddy's uh, movie thank you um, yeah no it's, it's really nice um, to watch all the, the the people commenting um, and enjoying it because it, it was hard work it, <laughs> it yeah. was hard work doing that I appreciate that um I think we've sort of caught up with the comments as well. I think I've... You've done well. Pretty much given everyone a shout out who's come into the room and answered as many other comments I could. Um, and now, just got the next comment was, thank you for reading my comments. So I, oh, <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, obviously, you've got to appreciate as well, we're on a bit of a delay. So you were commenting here and it's about a minute yeah. I'm noticing by watching the um, oh is it that long yeah by watching the watch time at the bottom for example you haven't even zoomed in on, onto I don't know you've just zoomed in onto Bendy but I haven't twisted him yet right so yeah it's about a minute um, I think there should be a melty bubblegum fudget fudget spinner fidget spinner my mispronunciation um, I think there should be a melty bubblegum fidget spinner. That would be really cool. And that's um, Scottish Geeks. Maybe it could be a, become a new crowdfunding project. The yeah. bubblegum fidget spinner. <laughs> um, uh, our next big project is going to be the Five Nights at Freddy's again, fan made film, another one. Um, we are working on the script and we will be getting together on Tuesday, Peter and I. Uh, well, we have our production meetings, and um, yes, and that's where it will all begin. Yeah, so um, we'll be reading up a lot more on the sequels. Right, one last plug then. We've got Chica interview coming out tonight at 7 pm British summer time. Um, so, literally in about 25 minutes, and that's the part two of our Chica interview which was a comedy sketch really it wasn't a serious thing it's a, it was a comedy yeah. set where people sent in a load of questions we did a vote didn't we on the last one uh, so no, uh, opened it up to, to the room as people were enjoying the um, the Chica interview who would you like to see being interviewed next so we've agreed it's going to be Freddie Freddie so we're going to interview Freddie next um, and we'll love to start receiving your questions so email us bubblegumwatches at gmail.com with your questions for Freddie with question in the subject line Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N or something similar uh, question in the subject line for question for Freddie yeah. and that will be the next interview we do we've also got a sketch coming up haven't we next week rather than something non Five Nights at Freddy's related yeah, yeah. Um, but still involving death and gore and all the rest of it no, um, um, no, are we talking about the same one? I thought we were talking about the zombie one. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that one yet. <laughs> yeah, so we've got, so we've got, we've still got ideas and things happening. So our production meeting yeah. on Tuesday will be very busy. Uh, Stuart, what is your favourite movie? Um, I've got several favourite movies. I've got another, another favourite movie as well, which I was watching the making of yesterday on YouTube. And that's Terminator 2. Yes, Terminator, Terminator 2 and Aliens. Good, yeah. Basically anything by James Cameron. Yeah, so I've got I've got favourite films in different genres. Yeah, so. yeah. My, my favourite romantic film is either The Wedding Singer or Fifty First Dates. Or something about Mary, if that's kind of a... That's comedy, yeah. more comedy. Yeah. Yeah, but I suppose it's got that sort of... It's sort of re romantic revolves around it, doesn't it? That's yeah. something about Mary. Uh, but I, actually that... that Fifty is it fifty first dates? Yeah, yeah, that is that is one of one of my favourites as well. I actually like that one. Um, oh, and School of Rock for comedy. School of Rock. School of Rock is good. Fifty yeah. first date um, or um, something about Mary. Um, how can I send a question? Email us bubblegummonsters at gmail dot com with question in the subject line. Um, the rooms chatting amongst themselves, which is great because that's what we would rather see is you guys communicating with each other remember support each other check each other's channels out remember to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more hit the subscribe button and click the little bell that's all right um i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna call it done for now i will i will continue and make a few tweaks like for example i'm gonna have one of his hands maybe open 
I think because he's quite aggressive. At the moment. Look but mind you, he's scary, isn't he? He's meant to be a bit scary. But yeah, he, I will probably add a few more details to him, and then obviously the bubblegum drips as well. Um, but yeah, because we're now coming up to twenty to seven, um, so we've got to go. Yeah, so we'll give it another five minutes uh, for a bit of, bit of Q and A quickly. But I'm going to switch over now. So say bye to Bendy. Bye, you everyone. Him? I don't know what he sounds like. Actually. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Does he speak? I haven't played the game yet. Um, I bet he sounds like Mickey Mouse. Because I think Mickey Mouse is quite a creepy voice, isn't he? Hi, it's Mickey. Hello. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mickey. That's Random day. Really, I'm well, a forty-year-old yeah. man just pinned on a silly voice. Um, oh, it's not doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's just um, like... Ted Bear, if you want to watch our um, v- our live vlog on Wednesday, the um, we do explain what we're going to be doing oh, and why we're doing it. So I know you keep asking in the comments. As I said before, the comments are on a delay, so keep asking the same thing within seconds of each other. It doesn't really help. So just check out the um, the vlog from Wednesday, and we explain all regarding the um, uh, 4D printing. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. The fishing Bigfoot. 4D printing. 4D printing. I don't know how that would work. But it sounds cool. That sounds wicked. <laughs> it's um, like those razors that you get yeah. and just add another blade just to make it even better. He doesn't have a voice yet. Oh, doesn't he? No, Scottish Geek says he doesn't have a voice I bet yet. he sounds like Mickey. Uh, Stuart, what is your favourite game? Um, I don't play games quite so much now. How come yours is not moving? Mine's going mental. Because yours is catching up. Oh, OK. Um, I can't read any of that at all. Uh, so, um, sorry, what was the question? Uh, game. I try to get interrupted. I, was, um, I don't really play games that much, don't have that much time. Um, when I did play games, to give you an idea, the last game I played, it was FIFA 15. It was a football game, FIFA 15. And before that, it was Call of Duty. I think, I can't even remember what the Call of Duty was. Um, World at War? Maybe, no, no, I think there was a, um, another one after that. But that's how long it's been since I played a game, even though I do have, have Xbox. Just don't have Fishing Bigfoot it. says for your one million sub special. I like that because it's like we're at like nine hundred and ninety nine at the moment. Um, could you do a react to your first video that you um, that you made as kids, which would be a really cool idea. Um, but <laughs> you might be waiting for a while, yeah, because they're only at forty seven thousand at the moment, so we've got a little little way to go. Um, but that is a really cool idea. Uh, Diamond Sheep, can you watch my latest vid of me messing with the dogs? Just go to my channel. Yep, we'll uh, check it out. Remember, guys, if to comment once this video has been uploaded, the comments which we have in here disappear. So, if you want to be in a chance of winning the Bendy um, and a uh, Bob Gun Monster, the render, the, the screenshot of the render, um, comment in the video once it's uploaded, and that would be brilliant. Ted Bear says, what movie is next for Final Nights of Freddy's? I know, three? I just spoke to him about that. He keeps keeps asking the same question, oh, despite okay. the fact that I said to him, it's delayed, and then I've asked him to check the vlog, but he just keeps typing it in. Okay, no, no. No. <laughs> so check out our vlog, and all will be revealed. Um, right, okay. It's Chica Tonight, Warrior 269. Yeah. Um, Chica Tonight interview, and then we're on to Freddy who I'm sure will have a very different personality to Chica. Chica was quite angry. Um, I think she gets teased quite a lot by the others, which is why she's built up this real sort of aggressive nature. (laughs) We are finishing now um, Songs Bomb Jazzy. Um, 5.30 is going to be the new time for our live making a bubblegum monster um, because there was no, there's no real advantage being an hour, hour later. It doesn't suit anyone. Um, yeah, really. Probation um, says, um, "Do a vlog by showing us around London." That's cool. That's a cool idea, yeah. actually. Yeah. And in fact, when we talk about doing so, if Bill comes over, if Bill comes up, Bill, we're in talks with Bill. I don't know if you guys know Bill from Bill's channel. Um, I know a few of you do, and he is, I think, maybe coming over to London this summer. And if he does, we'll meet up with him, and it'd be good to sort of just. Um, do a little sort of like tour of London and maybe do a sketch or two with him which would be quite fun yep I don't know promise that I don't know if that's going to happen or not uh, so yeah we, uh, oh Gordon Ramsay definitely Jamie Oliver 
on Ram. I don't like. What was that one about? Uh, sorry, I was just question. Um, Pro- uh, Probation says good, uh, Gordon Ramsay or Jamie Oliver. Oh, I see. Right. No, yeah, Gordon Ramsay. I prefer. Although, really? Yeah, he's aggressive, but I quite like him. I don't like Jamie Oliver. It's not about him. Uh, I see, because I, I would actually go reverse. I, I, I go with Jamie Oliver. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, fair enough. Um, I love Bill's channel, says Fisher, but yeah, he's a cool guy, Bill. Yeah, he's and he, yeah, he started, he's, he had a bit of a break, didn't he, from his fact and fake stuff, but he started to do quite a few of them again. And he's changing the, the format recently with the whole picking it out of the mailbag kind of thing, which is cool. Oh, is he, is he going to continue with that? Or is he reverting back I to don't, the I original don't format? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, 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 don't know. I think he was talking about it. Um, so the Five Nights at Freddy's request, thank you, for Ted Bear, you've finally clocked on. Um, and it's great that you're here. Uh, we don't know. We still don't know about the, the Five Nights at Freddy's thing, what we're, what we're actually going to do. No, it could be a combination of two together because the problem, if you do one of the games, especially the second one, it's really similar in terms of its format and the layout to the first game. I mean, it's got a couple of game mechanics that are different, but as a film, it would be really similar. So we're thinking maybe blend a few of them together and come up with a sort of like uber an Uber Five Nights at Freddy's film with all the best bits from the other games. I don't, I don't know yet. I don't uh, know time to look at it yet. Peter's the master of moulding and Stuart the cloud bringer. Cloud <laughs> bringer? What's cloud bringer? It sounds like I'm a doom. I'm the bringer of doom. To be fair uh, though, I'm, moulding could be, I don't know, it could just be like skirting boards. Um, guys, Benny's eyes are to the left. We have not left. quite finished yet. No, we'll, we'll have a little bit of tweak. I know. Actually, you're you're right. I see that. There's there's a yeah. Hmm. It's true. I know what you're saying. His indents on the one I've got. His indents are inside, but on. Uh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Are they all like that? It does seem like there's a couple. Seems to vary on the pitch reference I've got. Some on the outside. Some on the inside. Don't know. Don't know which one's right. Uh, maybe it is the outside. Um, or maybe, I don't think it's just where he's looking, although that would make him looking cross-eyed at the moment. I don't know. Scottish case, when you said Cloudbringer, it's because I was vaping. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, uh, just very, very quickly, um, don't send any more questions to Chica. Chica has been done. I know you, you've just said you sent the um, question to Chica. Um, if it, 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 the Chica questions are closed, but send them in for Freddie. That would be brilliant. Um, and finally, what what was William's great idea, Rebecca? I'd like to have known. Um, I'm vaping squid ink, industrial angel. Woo! I haven't tried that one. Um, the crazy pig. This one. Thank you for joining us. I'm um, sadly we're going to be saying goodbye any second now. In fact, we should have said goodbye three minutes ago. Uh, yeah, no, it's true. Sorry, I've just. Do you ever react to a fan made videos of you? And we'll, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. know how people would react to us, uh, but yeah, I'd love to react to that. Yeah, go on. Um, and TSFM. And you're an editor, so cool, yeah, I'd love to see it. Uh, that's what a little of. I said, like, yeah, Warrior269 confirms the eyes. Yeah, that's okay, that's, that, I'll fix that then. I'll fix that so his eyes are on the outside. Right, so guys, remember, once the video's been uploaded, comment and then you get into be put into the hat so you can get the possibly win the bendy bubblegum monster screenshot signed by us and until next week next uh yeah next yeah. friday at the moment will be the next live one are we not doing a live vlog on Wednesday? don't know yet don't know yet don't know. so that's as a floater but otherwise the <laughs> <A> <laughs> right. um but definitely next friday we'll be back at the same time 5 30 british summer time until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.